Today, I'm going to be making the Ghirardelli Chocolate Caramel Turtle Premium Brownie Mix. It includes caramel and walnuts. This was $2.27 at Walmart, and Stacy wanted us to give it a try. Um, I've never tried uh, this Ghirardelli, and Ghirardelli are our favorite brownies ever, and so it's, it's good to try something new. The first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 325 degrees. Then um, you're going to need for this... You're gonna need one egg, a fourth cup of fourth cup of wa wa uh, water that's in here, and then a third cup of vegetable oil. So those are three ingredients. And then you also need a pan, and it says to grease the pan. So I used the nonstick cooking spray to grease it. And when I was growing up for brownies, it always just said to grease the bottom of the pan. This doesn't. It just it says grease the pan. So I grease the sides and everything because it wasn't specific about bottom only like some brownies are. So what you do is you uh, place water, oil, and egg in medium bowl and stir until fully mixed. And then you add the brownie mix and stir until well blended. So um, I'm actually going to just put these in here. And stir them in here. It reminds me of when I did uh, recipes from stuff in the United Kingdom, and they would have you uh, they would have you mix things in a bowl and then add them. But now there wasn't enough room in there to do that. Not with my my spoon anyway, my scraper. So that's mixed, and so now you want to get your stuff. Let's see what we get. Okay, there's two things in the box. There is your mix, and then this is your um, caramel. It says caramel on there. So take your mix, pour it in here, and then just make sure it's all well combined. this and pour it into your prepared pan. Take your caramel sauce and you open it like that on the side and I'm going to put lines down the middle or not down the middle but down in between the the uh, chocolate. perfect but it covered it covered it covered everything so okay now you want to take a knife and you want to scrape it back and forth so I'm going to go up one way and then down another we are using an 8 by 8 metal pan uh, you can use an 8x8 glass pan or a 9x9 metal pan, it says. So whatever of those three you have. But we're using an 8x8. It says to bake it for 38 to 42 minutes. I'm going to go right in the middle and I'm going to um, set my timer for 40 minutes. And we'll be back. This is how the brownies look straight out of the oven. So I am going to let it cool off for a little while and then cut us a piece. And then we'll be back to try it. So I didn't talk about calories with these, but it, honestly, it uh, I would just enjoy it <laughs> um, if you're going to eat it because uh, the serving size is three tablespoons of the mix, which is 25 grams, and three-fourths teaspoon of the caramel, which is five grams. Um, that means nothing. No. Once you mix it up, it means nothing. No, either. because you saw when I was putting on that caramel, some of the lines were really, really thick and some of them were really skinny. So, I mean, you just have to enjoy this. Uh, but I'm giving you the information anyway. Uh, there's about 18 servings in here. So, you should get 18 brownies. Um, the mix is 120 calories. And then as prepared, it's 160 calories. And even as prepared, it has an asterisk next to it because it all depends on how much you spray your pan and what size egg did you use. Yeah. Did you use a large egg or an extra large did, egg or a medium egg? How thick was egg? your caramel in the area you're eating? Exactly. So, and I don't think there's any way in hell you're going to get 18 brownies out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. But do these squares? it smells really good. It does. It looks good. It was very gooey. And... Uh, 
Yeah, it's it it. I, and we love Ghirardelli anyway, so Ghirardelli is like the best brownies. If I can get it on my fork, I'm gonna give attempt it. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. You don't have to wait. You know, I forgot about the walnut. Mm hmm You really taste them. Yes. You, I got, Good. in my body, I got two hunks of walnut. And they weren't like little bitty crumbled pieces either. They were like, more like little chunks of walnut. So, what I like about these is that they are not overly sweet. Mm -mm. They are not... And oh, you, that caramel's pretty sweet. And you would think with me, with everything that I eat, I would want it over the top. But I like it that it's not over the top. It is, um, it's not as sweet as, I don't think it's as sweet as the regular brownies in like the red box that no. we know, that we typically buy. It's not. But I love the addition of the walnuts. Yeah, I, I like love the, walnuts. the caramel. The caramel's okay for me. The caramel mm. is, I could give her, I could take her to leave it as far as the caramel goes. Um, they could definitely make a mix with just the, just walnuts, the walnuts and I would, and I would enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, I'd be fine. Because the caramel, I mean, you can make this mix without, just don't put the caramel on. Of course, you're paying for it. Right. Um, the caramel is just okay for me. Mm -hmm. It adds a sweetness to it mm -hmm. that that's, the rest of it doesn't have. But, um, and it adds but I think. To the, I think the regular brownie is sweet enough as it is, so that just adds, it puts it almost too sweet. It adds to the, the gooey texture of it. It does. Maybe that's what, maybe that's another reason I don't necessarily like it is because it's too mushy and soft. Right. But I would not have cooked it any longer because I told you I was cooking mine right in the middle and I'm glad that I took it out right in the middle because the edges are crisp. I mean, they're not burned. But the dryer. they are crisper yeah. than the rest of it, definitely. The middle is still soft, but around those edges, I don't think those edges could have taken another two minutes, or I do think they would have burned. Right. Um, and, and ours is not completely cooled off either. And you could, all, <laughs> yeah, that's true. You could always get a regular Ghirardelli brownie mix and add your own walnuts that's because true. Um, that's the part that we both like, mm -hmm. I like um, a lot. And so you could always add, uh, what we like walnuts and homemade fudge and everything though, it's delicious. I, I don't think this is a bad mix. And don't, I don't, like it. I don't want you to think that I'm saying the caramel makes it bad. I'm just saying the caramel for me was, uh, it's an added thing that I could have given, I could you could have left it off and I would have been fine with you just You wouldn't have minded brownie. if it, if it yeah. had been, yeah. It's good with it there, but I, I I would have preferred it probably without it. Right. Well, Stacy recommended these. Th very thank good. you, Stacy. I don't know if you've ever tried these yourself, but it was they're so easy mm -hmm. to make and they are very good brownies. I don't think you can uh, beat Ghirardelli brownies. They're Out of all rich. the brands that are out there, I would much rather buy these and get and know that I'm getting a good quality brownie over any other ones. So you are definitely safe to get these. So I hope everyone else enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.